Hey guys, welcome back to Mike the AZ Chef. Today I had a premonition of how can I call myself the AZ Chef without showing you guys how to make guacamole. So guess what, today's your lucky day and it's also Taco Tuesday, why not? Let's make a guacamole two different ways. We're gonna try traditional and we're gonna try a creamy avocado sauce as well. So we're gonna get started. The first thing we're gonna talk about was some ingredients. Working in the restaurants, um, it's like mainstream. We try to like put recipes together really quick. So at most places at restaurants you go to, they have pico de gallo. So pico de gallo is basically going to be red onions, tomatoes, jalapenos, cilantro, and fresh lime juice. So today we're actually going to make the pico de gallo first, and then we're going to incorporate that into our guacamole. It's kind of the best thing when you do make guacamole. You traditionally want to make uh, pico first, and you're going to have basically two salsas you got the pico and then you got the guacamole so let's get started <clears throat> first thing you want to do is get some tomatoes then we're gonna get some red onions then we're gonna put some cilantro then we're gonna put some fresh lime juice and what I do with my limes, I like to quarter my limes. I think it's way easier to get all the juice out of them. That's a little trick. Some people like to cut them in half, put a fourth through them, or use their fingers. I like to use this, this method. So a little bit of lime juice again. It's The flavor is going to be your lime juice and your salt and pepper. So you got to make sure you put a good amount on both. Okay, we got that. We're going to throw some fresh seeded jalapenos. And the biggest thing, guys, you want to seed your jalapenos. Some people are wusses. Some people can't handle the, the spice. So we're going to actually go through and clean a jalapeno ourselves. So you want to start by cutting on the corners and cutting around the membrane of the jalapeno. And voila, guys. Look at that. No seeds. Awesome. All right. So, next thing we're going to do is get some salt, some black pepper, mix this bad boy up, and voila guys, we have pico de gallo. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to get our avocados going. So, <clears throat> I first want to show you guys actually how to prep an avocado. First thing you want to do is grab the avocado. Cut it along the pit. Make sure you rotate the avocado. Make sure not to cut yourself. Twist. You see the pit. Slightly stab it. Twist. Get your thumb. Release. And we're done. It fell. Sorry, guys. So, after that, We're going to get our avocado, we're going to get our spoon, we're going to take the actual avocado out without damaging it. So we're going to grab the spoon and we're going to just kind of scoop it out. Look how perfect that looks. One more time, let's try again. We're going to scoop it out. Beautiful, huh guys? Alright, so we're going to get our bowl. I like to use, this is called a false bottom. You can buy this at a local restaurant standard store. If not, you can, you can just whisk it. I like to use this because basically it's just gonna get, it's gonna release the creaminess of the avocados a little bit better than just whisking it straight. So what I'll do is start getting the avocado, push it through. Pushing it through. And we're gonna use just two avocados today. Just a small little batch. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Now we're going to grab our whisk and we're going to kind of start breaking it down. Start releasing the oils. Get it creamy. I like to do this before I add my ingredients, if that makes sense or not. Make sure, be careful, you might have a little bit of avocado skin there, you gotta make sure you take that out. So you wanna whisk it. Next thing we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna add 
our pico de gallo to it. One, two, three. We're gonna add a little bit of more lime juice to it. So once again, that's your flavor, guys. Lime juice and the salt and pepper is gonna really what give it its kick. One, two. Three, add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I like to add a little bit more cilantro to it. Just a little bit more. Okay? And then we're gonna whisk it. And guys, there we go. We got the traditional guacamole out the way. Now we're gonna start out with the creamy avocado salsa. So, so that's gonna consist of, you definitely gonna need a food blender. Now grab your food blender. And we're gonna start adding the ingredients. Start out with the avocados. We're gonna put two avocados in here. quarter of a white onion in there. We're gonna put avocado, uh, we're gonna put jalapenos in there. Once again, they're seeded. We're gonna throw some cilantro in there, okay? Then, yes guys, we are gonna throw milk in there. Trust me, it really does work. It actually preserves the color of the salsa, which actually lasts longer in your refrigerator. Um, it can last up to two days and it'll still have its vibrant color. You might have a little brown on the top of it, but you just kind of just, um, you know, scoop that out and you're definitely gonna get some nice green vibrant avocados. So we're gonna add a little bit black pepper. We're gonna add some bouillon. And we're gonna add some water. About a half a cup right now. All right, guys. We're gonna blend this. We got some creamy avocado salsa. Amazing. So we made these great, we made these great salsas. I'm feeling hungry. It's Taco Tuesday. I got some tacos I got made already here. Did a little bit of some pulled chicken, real simple. Um, got some great cactus flour tortillas from the local ranch market which I'm so blessed I have right down the road so I get some fresh made tortillas anytime I want. Yes, I'm bragging, I get fresh tortillas, okay? Without me making it, saves me a bunch of time. So, let's start with it, okay? We made our pico, so let's put that salsa on top. Nothing goes to waste. Okay? Got our cream, we got our traditional avocado. And we got our creamy avocado. Guys, Taco Tuesday, guacamole, two different ways. I hope I made your day today. Please like, subscribe. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.